IR spectroscopy is used by organic chemists to tell when they've added, removed, or modified a functional group in an organic molecule. We're going to see how we take an IR spectrum on our Perkin-Elmer Spectrum 100, which is an FTIR spectrometer. The first thing we have to do is to turn the machine on. And the way we do that is through this computer interface. We go to the spectrum icon on the desktop, and we click that with our mouse. We are confronted with a login screen, which we say OK, and then another spectrum login uh, icon, which we click OK to, and then we simply wait for the instrument to warm up. OK, here we have the screen that we're going to be operating off of. This is uh, where the IR spectrum is going to be revealed. Now, it's a very easy operation. The first thing we do is to click on the icon at the top of the screen, which is called Scan. And then every IR spectrum that we take has to be preceded by what we call a background spectrum. And that can be found on the Scan and Instrument Setup panel here uh, by clicking this particular icon. It, looks, it always looks to me like an eye with an eyebrow over it. So you click on that, and then you click on the button marked Scan, and you wait. It's going to take four pulses of IR radiation to give us the proper background scan. And you can see already that we are uh, getting our background. Now, what we want to do is to take our sample. And I've chosen a sample. Uh, the, it's a solid, a nice white solid, nice crystalline material, as you can see. And this is 1,4-di-tertiary butyl benzene. The way we go about this is the following. We have a uh, a metal disc here with a small diamond in the center of it. We're going to take a small amount of this solid and put it directly on that diamond position. And so I'll just take a little bit out and put it on the center. Got to put it right on the center, okay. just like that. Now we take this arm, which positions itself right over that diamond, and we're going to squash that solid right onto that diamond. We don't want to press too hard. We, we screw this down. We get to the point where we feel some resistance. We're at that point right now. Let me just tighten it just a little bit. And there. We've now put our sample on the infrared spectrometer. Okay, the next several steps are really very easy. We're going to go back to the icon that we call Scan, click on that, and I've already entered my name in here, and I'm going to type in a description of the sample. And in this case, it's 1, 4, di, t, butyl, benzene. Now we're going to uh, we're going to uh, hit the button called Start. We're going to ignore that, and then we're going to click on Scan. And once again, it's going to take four uh, scans, and that will take a little bit of time. And you can see the IR already being produced. The uh, the intensities of these peaks are not optimum. So what we do then is to go to the icon at the top called Opt View, and this stands for Optimize the View, and we're going to click on